them. Um, and what I'm going to talk about today is very sensitive for me. Um, and especially as a black man talking about this subject, because it's, a, I, it's something I've taken so serious. Um, not perfect. Let me make that very clear. I'm not perfect in what I'm about to share, but it's something that I practice daily. And I have a lot of people in my life that help me to keep this thing going, okay? Because, okay, this is needed. And I'm just going to share, you know, I shared it with the people on the Momentum Podcast. Um, definitely go get the Momentum Podcast if you have it, okay? So, you know. um, but this is, this is really near and dear to my heart, yo, because I've seen so many people go through this. And I'm going to start this off with a quote from Pastor Gail. She said, people hide behind their spirituality and neglect the natural. And we were talking about how people in the name of I believe God or have faith have grew to be very sick, have neglected what the doctor said, have neglected maintaining a healthy diet, have neglected taking the steps necessary to be healthy. And even when they get the doctor's report, they neglect what needs to be done from what the doctor said in the name of I believe God or have faith that I'm going to be healed. Now, let's preface this real quick. I'm a man of great faith. I'm a man who believes in miracles. I'm a man who believes um, in the working of miracles. I'm a man who believes in healing, supernatural healing. I'm going to be the first to pray for you. I'm going to be the first to go so hard for you and believe God to the ends of this earth. I believe mountains can be moved. I believe things, sicknesses, illness, diseases of all kinds can disappear. I, I, there is nothing I believe that God cannot do. Let's make that very clear. But I also believe that God has given us a vessel to steward. I believe that there, from what I've learned from my little doctor friends, um, I've learned that there are certain things that you can do. There are cures that you can promote. There, there's a lifestyle that you can live in that produces healing. Are we on the same page? Like, I am totally against and again, I understand because I have been there. Going to the altar call. Not for the healing, but for someone to lay hands on you and you expect that to change things about your diet. Meaning you get healed, but never change your diet. You get healed, but you never stop eating things that are not good for you. You get delivered, you get set free. You know, you're experiencing a supernatural experience by not letting that transfer to your natural life. We live in a spiritual world and a natural world. So what I'm saying is, I understand what it's like to come from, let's say a neighborhood where we don't have a lot of resources. You know what I'm saying? If you where I'm from, we say, oh, I'm from the hood. Like we ain't, we ain't got this, this, this and that, like certain other neighborhoods. If you're just in an environment where you're just unaware, so you feel so ignorant to what to get, what to do, what to eat. I mean, I've learned so much about what I should and should not be eating, what I should and should not be drinking. Like, I've learned what should go in my body, what should not go in my body, things in moderation, things in imbalance. Because I surround myself around people and I hold myself accountable to these people that, you know, everybody knows. Any healthy journey you try to get on these people may get on your nerves, okay? But when you really treasure what you have within this vessel... And from what I'm discovering, if you, are, if you are in alignment with what God is doing in your life, that you understand that you need to be here for it, you got to take care of this vessel. Um, and I'm saying this as a black man um, to other black people who may listen to this. We need to take care of our health. We just need to. And I understand how crippling that can feel because we don't know what to do, where to go. And of course, women can understand and relate to this too. It's not the issue. I'm, I'm just saying as a black man, um, like I want to I wanna speak on this in a sense of I'm finally finding my flow. Um, and it took accountability. 
I'm saying this because I want you to implement it. It takes accountability. It takes people that are healthy, people that know what they're talking about. It takes you getting checkups, getting your physicals, getting your blood work. And that may, that may feel out of reach for some of y'all. I understand that. There are opportunities and there are, there are programs. There are, you know, many things that you can get involved in or apply for. You could Google it. You can contact people in your church, people in your circle, people in your squad. I'm asking you to ask questions. Who knows about these resources so you can get access to them? Um, and I'm going to get into what I'm going to get into. I just want to lay this down. I believe in the power of God. But I believe the power of God also shows up as the fruit of the Spirit. And one of them is self-control. And we have to be able to use what God deposits in us to show up in our natural life as well. We can't be so heavenly minded that we're no earthly good. But we cannot hide behind our spirituality and neglect the natural man. We have a one vessel we need to take care of. This vessel is so important that the Bible says the Holy Spirit decided to dwell here in us. And so, you know, we, we have to take care of our bodies. And, you know, God began to really speak to me, you know, so many times. I mean, my health has always been a topic. You know what I'm saying? Like my eating, you know, making sure I eat, making sure I eat healthy, making sure I'm exercising, making sure I'm doing all this stuff. Um, and that's so important to me. I, a lot of you guys not like one thing about me. I, I just don't want nobody. I don't want nobody praying for me. And I ain't doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You see what I'm saying? That's just me. Okay. So I, I try to hold myself accountable. But even when I don't feel like I have people hold me accountable and it helps. Um, you know, and to God be the glory one day, I'm going to have a wife who is going to also help me. You know what I'm saying? And, um. You know, a wife probably that loves to cook, okay? And so these meals are going to be healthy, okay? We're going to eat healthy, all right, y'all? You know what I'm saying? It's my heart. And I'm saying this today because we're losing a lot of people that we love and care about because of our health. And then, of course, I'm not about to get into no conspiracies, but about the foods that we're eating now, the stuff that's out there, I can only imagine, okay? So we got to be really careful what we're eating. Um, and that can feel so crippling, but I would advise everyone to just Google YouTube Find stuff that's trustworthy sources on what we need to be putting in our bodies. Um, I'm going to get right into it and I'm going to end because I don't want this to be too long. I'm just trying to share my heart. God showed me um, how our bodies are like cars in a sense. And he showed me when that engine light comes on in your car, man, you could be having a good day. Child, I feel like that light turned on on always the best days when everything is going good or you actually just got something done. And it's like, now here go this engine light. And the engine light is so tricky because you don't even know, you don't even know what it is. And I'm sure y'all probably like, Al, you old. We got new cars. That don't happen no more. It tells you exactly what it is. That's dope. Okay. I'm a little old school. So, but you know, when that engine light comes on, you don't always know what the problem is. It could be anything, but all you need to know is there's something indicating that something's wrong, something's off, or you just need to go get a checkup. You need to go take your car to get checked. They'll run a diagnostic and tell you what's going on with the car and then tell you your next steps. The reasons why sometimes we don't do that is because it costs. We'll be like, how long can I drive until stuff start really acting up? You have said. Uh, many reasons why we do this, but, you know, sometimes we, we don't want to go because they're going to tell something we don't want to hear. We wanted to just be, oh, you know, this, and then they tell us it's this, and it's like this huge job. You're like, uh-uh, fix what I asked you to fix. Don't touch nothing else. I ain't asked, for, I ain't asked about that. I asked about this, okay? But, you know, the Holy Spirit really started to show me this is the same way with our vessels. And there are three indicators out of, the, out of many, there are three indicators that will show you something's wrong. Number one, when you feel pain, okay? Number two, when something is not working like it should, dysfunction of any kind in your body is a sign. And then number three, your great physician. We know God is our great physician. The Holy Spirit can talk to us about us. That is a third sign that something is wrong. And he'll even tell you. But hear me now. I'm asking you to use these three signs as your check engine light. 
I'm not saying nothing difficult in this video. I'm not about to make this no healthy journey, make you feel small and like, oh my God, Al, where do I start? I'm saying, listen, I want you to take your health serious and don't hide behind your spirituality. Hear me now. Your spiritual life and your faith is important. But let your faith, meaning your belief in what God has called you to do, make you go get checked. To make sure that everything's okay with you. But if it's not, you can do whatever needs possible to, so we can make sure you're, you're okay. Okay? Even when it gets tough, have people that hold you accountable. And when they do, and you're a little annoyed, remember it's because they love you. And they want you around. Okay? Now let me say this before we close. Because everybody talks about if you somebody lay hands on you, you're going to be healed. Okay? Fair. There is the ministry of the laying on of hands. That is a real thing. Okay? Now, you can go to the doctor about many things. Trying to treat spiritual things. This is where it gets tricky. And let this be only for those who have ears to hear. Meaning if this applies to you and resonates with you, then... It's this. People forget this. There's a form of healing that comes from repentance. The Bible says that repentance literally brings healing to your very bones. Hear me now. I'm going to read this scripture to you. Proverbs 3 verse 7. Do not be wise in your own eyes, but fear the Lord and shun evil. Another translation says, don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord with reverent awe and obedience and turn entirely away from evil. The Bible says this is what happens when you do this. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Then you will have healing for your body and strength to your bones. This is very important. And the Amplified, it says, it will be health to your body, your marrow, your nerve, your sinews, your muscles, and all your inward parts, and refreshment, physical well-being to your bones. This is so important, and I need to stress this. When you're in sin, you've been doing things that you know God has not put a seal of approval on, and he's been warning you by the Spirit to stop. If you do that, you just turn away. Repentance just simply means to change your ways, change your thinking, turn away. The Bible says that act will save your life. It brings healing to your bones. Some of y'all are dealing with spiritual battles because of the wages of sin and God just needs you to turn away and healing and refreshment will flow to your physical well-being. Please Understand why it's very important when anyone is among you sick, the Bible says, go to the elders in the church that they lay hands on you. We skip down. That scripture says, confess your sins to one another so that you may be healed because the prayers of the righteous availeth much, produce wonderful results. Hear me, y'all. I used to always ask, what does confession have to do with healing? I'm talking about confession to another person because when you confess, of any sin, it is safe to say, you're ready to turn around and turn away. You're saying, listen, this is what I've done. And I don't want nobody to be confused. I'm going through this because of my sin. I'm confessing this because I'm seeking healing now. I'm seeking deliverance now. I'm telling y'all, let this be for those of you who have an ear to hear. If this resonates with you, this, let the spirit of the Lord be heard through his word. Repent of your sins and experience your healing in Jesus' name. Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Al Benir Sonori Jean Jr., and I am so excited to introduce to you the Momentum Plus app. This platform was built just for you. All the different features that people have been asking for for years. All my professional workshops, all right here on your phone. 
a momentum podcast with amazing momentum sounds that are going to keep you encouraged throughout the week. I'm talking about we have community threads. There's places for us to connect, network, message each other, places for Q&A. There's going to be live videos that I'm going to be able to do right here on your phone. I can't wait to unveil more and more features on the app. Be on the lookout for it. Every time a new workshop drops, a momentum sound drops, and I have a special gift for all the inaugural users, the people who are first to go download the app. I pray it blesses you. The journey continues and hope really does live. Welcome to Momentum, right here on your phone.